Hello everyone, this is 3DX and in today's video I'm going to be creating a stylized container with uh, kind of like shattered stone pieces and this is going to be created in a stylized with a stylized look uh, somewhat PBR stylized and uh, for the most part as always I'm going to be using a lot of the techniques that I use for most of these stylized materials that I kind of make all the time Instead of just explaining what's going on on the screen, I'm just going to talk about different topics. And one of those topics is a lot of times people ask if they should learn how to use Substance Designer. And I think the answer for that depends on where you are in your digital arts career or however you want to phrase that. And I think it depends on what the goal is for your career. So. For example, if you are, uh, let's say, a character artist, or if you want to be a character artist, I personally don't think you need to learn Substance Designer for the most part. Um, I mean, you could, I'm not saying you shouldn't, but I think you're not going to use it as much as someone who's a, a texture artist or an environment artist. Mainly because when, if you're a character artist, for the most part, you're going to be sculpting characters. And mostly characters use unique textures, which are not, for the most part, created procedurally. Uh, which is why I, I think if you are a character artist or want to be one, I don't think you necessarily need to learn how to use Substance Designer. I'm not saying you shouldn't, but it's not going to hurt you if you don't know how to use it, I don't think. I think Substance Designer is a great program to learn if you are an environment artist. In fact, I think most environment artists I know know how to use Substance Designer for the most part. Especially nowadays because it's really used a lot for environments, for say ground textures, uh, wall textures, or just procedural textures in general that you can apply to things like props. So if you are an environment artist or you want to be one, I think learning how to use Substance Designer is a plus and I think it's going to help you a lot if you know how to use it. Also, obviously, if you are going to be like a texture artist, there are studios that have a dedicated uh, texture person. I think in the film industry as well, there's a dedicated texture artist. So if you're going to be one of those or if you are one, uh, I think obviously you're going to probably need to learn Substance Designer because you're going to be creating a lot of textures and Substance Designer is going to save you a lot of time in that sense. So if you are an environment artist or want to be one, I highly recommend you learn how to use Substance Designer. Now if you are learning how to be an environment artist, like let's say you are, you know, you're just getting started, you're a beginner, I would say don't start learning it just yet I think um, I will probably wait until you're you know you're fairly comfortable creating environments um, before uh, going into substance designer mainly because I think you're going to be using a lot of the other programs first before you start using substance designer substance designer is great uh, for creating uh, procedural materials but Using procedural materials is not always necessarily a requirement for creating an environment. I mean, you can absolutely do an environment without doing any procedural materials. So in that case, I would say, you know, once you feel pretty comfortable, once I think once you are like an intermediate to advanced, I guess, user, I think that's when I would learn how to use Substance Designer just to have another uh, tool to create materials. Because at the end of the day, uh, Substance Designer is a tool that you can use to create materials. But let's say if you're already really good at creating materials in ZBrush and you're really fast at it, uh, it that's not a problem at all, like if you don't know how to use Substance Designer. But I think it always helps just to know uh, another tool, just in case you need to use it. So that's uh, who I think should or could learn Substance Designer. Obviously, this is mostly opinion. It's not based uh, 
with what I think should or what I think you should or shouldn't do. So it was up to the person. And so following that, I think the next question is how do you learn Substance Designer? And I think obviously there are different ways. There are different tutorials online. Personally, how I learned it was by going to the Substance Academy website. So if you want to learn how to use Substance Designer for free, if you don't want to spend any money, I think that's how I would do it. Just go, and that's exactly how I did it. Uh, just go to the Substance Academy website. So just type that on Google. It should come up. And they have a lot of, well, they don't have that many, but they have a few tutorials that you can follow. So I would recommend that. I think I followed the one that, uh, where they show how to create wood. And honestly, that was uh, mostly the one that I followed. Uh, they have other ones as well that I think are pretty useful. Well, that's what I did. I went to the Substance Academy website and I looked up at some of the tutorials. I also went to the, uh, the YouTube uh, channel for Substance, which I think they changed the name. I think it's still called, I think it's called Substance now, something like that. But just find the official YouTube channel and look for some tutorials for Substance Designer. Now, I think the majority of them are, I guess, old. So they were created a long time ago, but I think they're, they are still relevant, even if they are created with an older version of Substance. So I think when I was learning, I think it was Substance Designer 5 or 6. can't remember which one, but I think I watched one of the tutorials on their, uh, the YouTube channel. I think it was for Substance Designer 6 or 5, I can't remember. So that's one thing I would do, I would just go there. Also one thing to also look into is, uh, still to learn how to bake uh, a high poly to a low poly as well, in case you ever need to do that. And I think I learned that as well from the YouTube channel and the Substance Academy. So they have enough resources there to just kind of learn how to use it. And then after that is mainly practice. There's a lot of practice that comes with it. Uh, another video that I watched uh, was the uh, Substance Designer Fundamentals by Daniel uh, Digger. I think that one was also pretty good. I think it's a really short 10 minute video or something like that. I think it was 20 minutes maybe. Uh, that one was also really good. Uh, that one's not free, but I, I recommend it as well. And then obviously I also released uh, an intro to Substance Designer tutorial recently. Um, like I said, you don't have to buy it. It's not free, but you have to buy it. But it's fairly reasonably priced, I think. So if you're gonna learn, if you're gonna skip going to the Substance Academy and the Substance uh, YouTube channel, you can always just get that uh, Substance Intro to Substance Designer. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. But obviously, like I said, you can still learn how to use it for free. You don't have to pay. Uh, but what this tutorial does is uh, it pretty much shows you everything you need just to get started. So it's pretty good for that. If you if you don't want to bother going to the Substance Academy or YouTube channel and finding a tutorial that might work for you, uh, you can also just get the Intro to Substance Designer tutorial. Link in the description, of course. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this video. So here is the render in Marmoset Toolback. Again, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to sub. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. And hopefully I'll see you in a future video. Do you want to learn how to use Substance Designer to create interesting materials which you can use to apply to things like environments or props? Well, in this Intro to Substance Designer tutorial, Anthony Carmona will walk you through the process on how to get started in making materials in Substance Designer. Click on the link below now to start learning how this is done. Anthony will start you off by explaining the theory behind physically based rendering and from there he will show you the ropes to get started with the most useful notes found within Substance Designer. This is a perfect tutorial for anyone who is new to Substance and would like to learn how to get started. This tutorial also includes a bonus lesson where Anthony will show you how to present a material through lighting and rendering using Marmoset Toolbag. Hey, so this is a very short video ad, so there's not enough time to cover everything. Click on the link in the description now to get started.